Hi there, I'm Elise and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be starting a sewing project. It is going to be the first garment that I've ever sewn completely from scratch that wasn't a Frankenstein together Halloween costume made of clothes that were bought at Value Village or one of like 30 cotton face masks. <laughs> So I don't know about you, but where I live, it has been unseasonably cold for about a month now. And I have this thing where I don't want to turn the heat on until the absolute last minute, if possible. So I'm going to be making the skirt out of this lovely flannel tartan, because you can never have enough tartan, right? It's really pretty and it's really soft and it is just heavy enough that I think it will make a really nice winter skirt and keep me nice and cozy. So I'm going to be using this pattern today. It is a vintage reproduction of a 1940s pattern by Simplicity. Um, I'm going to be doing the skirt. There's only one skirt, so it's the skirt. <laughs> it's option B if you have this pattern. My plan is to take out the pattern, trace it onto a big roll of paper that I have because I may want to make this in a different size someday and I don't want to have to worry about you know, going back and trying to figure that out from a big cut up pattern. Um, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to make myself a mock up because I'm scared to ruin this beautiful fabric. And then I will make the real thing out of this. So let's get started. The first a walk. paper so I guess I just have to figure out what's what so I'm just gonna read through this and then I will identify which pieces of these I actually need once I've got that figured out what does stay stitching mean I'll figure that out I will be figuring this out and if I get a chance I will record um, I'm going to be tracing the pattern onto this. Okay, so I lied. I'm not tracing anything. It ends up being way too much of a pain and it's not worth it. So I'm just going to fold the bits of the pattern over that I'm not using. After I'm done with that, I will cut out my pattern and put my um, mock-up together. Okay, so it is somewhere technically around day seven at this point. Um, I have not done anything in six days. Um, I did put my mock-up together entirely on the first day, um, but it is too small. So what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to add two inches to the skirt, um, the circumference of it. So to make that happen, I'm going to add a half inch to either side of the sort of triangular skirt piece of the pattern and then um, on the waistband which is literally just a rectangle I'm going to add an inch to either side. The other thing I need to do is the waistband is a little tall for my liking so I think I'm probably just going to take like half an inch off of it so it's more around there instead of here um, and then after I have adjusted my pattern, what I'm going to do is whip together my skirt. Um, I think I can probably get the rest of it done today. I hope I can get the rest of it done today. Ah uh, yes, I have a helper now. Lovely. My favorite. Buddy, come on. Nar. Hey, Nar. Yeah, I know you're cute. It's so obvious that you're cute. You don't have to tell us that you're cute. Okay, so here I am cutting out some wrapping paper that I was going to use to extend the skirt pattern out on the sides. And then I'm just taping it on here. And in about 10 seconds, I'm going to have a sudden realization. So I ended up taking it off and I'm just going to end up 
adding some extra seam allowance on the sides. Nar thinks he's helping. Are you helping, Nar? Yeah. No, not really. You're really not helping. And here I'm just laying out my skirt pattern and pinning it to the fabric. just measuring about a half inch down, I think it was a half inch, so that I can make my waistband a little bit more narrow because I felt like it was way too wide on me. And pinning that pattern to the fabric as well. And now cutting out that piece. Just tracing my hand so that I can make myself a pocket. Um, this pattern does not normally have one. So just going around my hand with a pencil and then after that I'm going to even it out with my curved ruler. fabric that I'm using with a chalk pencil and cutting that out. I did forget to put balance marks initially but I fixed it. I cut out two of these. And here I am just taking apart uh, my mock-up because I decided to use the waistband as my interfacing rather than using actual interfacing. I'm trying to use less plastic and polyester and non-natural fibers in what I make, so that's part of that. And here I finally figured out what the stay stitch was. It was kind of a duh moment for me. Um, you're basically just doing a running stitch from each side of the fabric because this was cut on the bias to eliminate any stretch on the waistband area. that going from the outside in on both pieces. And here I am just pinning my side seams together. And now stitching the sides. stitching the other side because honestly I got really confused. <laughs>
Okay, so I was wrong, and I did not finish the skirt yesterday. I'm going to finish it today, though. Okay, so I'm just taking a couple of minutes to press the pocket and the zipper as well as the side seams, just so that everything lies nice and flat. And then I am stitching my pocket, as I forgot to do that yesterday. <laughs> And now I'm just measuring a half inch because I'm going to be folding the top of the waistband down and pinning it. And then the other side is actually going to get pinned right sides together to the skirt, which is what I'm doing here. Just stitching the waistband to the skirt. And sewing the sides of the waistband down near the opening, first on the right side. and then pinning the left. As it's longer, this is actually the tab that the right side will close over. And then stitching that down as well. At this point, afterwards, I will turn it right side out, right after I stitch the bottom part of it. trimming those corners so that when I turn it right side out there isn't a bunch of bulk. And just a little bit more. And now pinning the waistband to the inside of the skirt. I'm actually just taking the pins that I was using earlier and keeping that same half inch and just pinning it right down. And then I'm going to stitch the waistband to the skirt by hand using a felling stitch so that you cannot see it from the outside. This did take about an hour, I want to say. Just fastening my closures on. I just used some black ganaise. And there we go. And here I am just trimming up the one side of the side seam so that I can turn it and fell it because otherwise it's going to fray like a maniac. When I finished this, I hung the skirt overnight so that I could hem it the next morning.
Okay, so I got really lucky and the skirt did not really stretch at all. I measured down the seams along the sides as well as in the center on the front and the back and the skirt measures 31 inches total in length on the entire thing, which is really awesome. In the pattern it was suggested to hem it um, one and a quarter inches. I'm going to try it on myself really quick just to see if I like that and then we'll probably do that all the way around. So here I am just measuring the part that I need to fold up to keep it from fraying and then the actual hem length. Um, I do believe it ended up being about a half inch and then an inch and a quarter so it actually ended up being about 1.75 inches that I ended up hemming in total. Um, that length ended up being really nice. And here I am just hand filling that hem down so that I have a nice invisible hem. I am trying to have this be a little bit more of a historically method garment as far as the finishings. So those invisible seams are what I'm trying to go for. Um, I don't think I actually did any top stitching on this entire thing. So I finished the skirt, um, it turned out to be pretty cozy. The upper half of my bottom half was very warm. My shins were freezing though, so lesson learned, warmer socks. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, there was like a bunch of people walking by when we were filming just now, so that was super awkward. Um, but that's okay. So if you want to watch me flounder around and try to pretend I know what I'm doing and sew more clothes and find books and other crafts like that, then uh, feel free to subscribe. And if you like these videos, then give it a like. Bye. Look at this distracting animal. Hello. Hi. Hi.